felt like running. No, I didn't, guys. If you're like me, you probably do not like doing cardio because it's a, kind of just become a necessary evil in your training protocol. And in a worst case scenario, it's a muscle destroying evil, which is taking those gains you worked so hard to earn. So when it comes to training, we all know that weight should be your main tool for muscle building and fat loss. However, there are certain types of cardio that are extremely effective and efficient for building muscle and burning fat. So if you want to get that increased condition, ripped, solid look while maintaining your muscle building gains, how do you do it? I'm not talking about some hour and a half hamster in the wheel cardio routine while you watch some soap opera. I'm talking about sprints, people. I'm talking about high intensity. I'm talking about bringing it out there and making it happen. So how do these sprints work and how do they affect your body when it comes to muscle building? So when it comes to weight training, we all know that through resistance training and proper nutrition and super compensation, we can grow new muscle and make these muscle cells bigger. So if you're eating big enough and you're training hard enough and you're resting enough, you're bound to grow new muscle mass. However, sprints work differently. It's more of a systematic total body effect that's just gonna zap your central nervous system. It's gonna affect the ATP process. You're gonna pull glycogen from your entire body. And you're gonna release all these muscle building and fat burning hormones. So the testosterone, growth hormone are gonna be on full blast after these sessions and you're priming your body for all kinds of new growth. So if you don't believe me, look at the physiques of these top world-class sprinters. I mean, they may not be IFBB pro bodybuilders, but they are more functional. These guys are lean, they are well-developed, they're symmetrical, and they're badass. It's an awesome look, so it's a true testament to your body becoming its function and the true effectiveness of sprints. So now you wanna add sprints to your training protocol, but you're not quite so sure how. So you look at most guys, they have bird legs, and they're not doing enough in the weight room anyway, so you cannot afford to give up a leg training session because you're too sore and beat up from a sprinting session. So the key to this here, is to make sure that you're maybe training your legs on Monday and giving yourself three or four days of recovery and hitting your sprints on a Thursday if you're the type of guy that's just training legs once a week. However, if you're a hardcore, you're taking training to the next level, and you really wanna up your training hitting two sprint sessions and two leg training sessions a week, you're gonna have to do some of these after leg day. It's gonna be extremely tiring and extremely grueling because your legs are just gonna be spent after that hard training session, but you gotta dig deep and you gotta power through, and eventually in time, your work capacity will increase, you will progress, and you will see the gains you're looking for. Now, where do we start with adding these sprints into our protocol? I just say get on the track, and basically it's a good place to start. Start doing maybe 15 to 20 second, 90% intensity intervals, followed by you know maybe 90 second rest periods, and going again and again to do this about 20 times. And over time, guys, you'll be able to increase the intensity and decrease the rest periods, increasing your overall work capacity with sprints, just like in the weight room, always looking for that progression. When it comes to taking the sprints out to the hill, this is my favorite place. Hill sprints are where it's at, people, and that's what you wanna add into the program. So when you get on the hill sprints, Get out there, give it everything you got, all out up the hill, slowly control the rest period on the way down, similar to the track, and over time you can make these rest periods shorter, increase the intensity, and keep improving on your hill sprints. Add this sprinting into your program, build muscle, build that functional warrior physique, and get out there and make it happen.